Hi, this is a walkthrough for adding a filtered relationship to a DDP. A reason for adding a filtered relationship is if a basic relationship doesn't satisfy your requirements. As an example, we have a calls object related to the account object with call records that each have different call types. Let's say that you don't want to bring in every call type within this related list. You only want to bring in the sales calls. Well, a basic relationship won't do this. Instead, you have to add a filtered relationship in which you're filtering these call records by call type, specifically call types with a value of sales. So to do this, we must navigate to the DDP, select the appropriate DDP, and navigate to the Relationships tab and select the New Relationship button. The first part of it is relating the call object to the account object. And because this relationship is not ambiguous, we are going to ignore the related by field. The next step is to add filter criteria. So we want to filter this relationship by call type, specifically call types with the value of sales. So when I tag my document and produce a file, I will only get calls with a call type of sales. Now you can satisfy other information in this edit page, like how to order your sales calls. And you can choose to delete table if there's no records or no sales calls in your child relationship. Also you can choose to replicate row or table, but row makes more sense in this example. So once we've set up our filtered relationship, we can hit save. And then you can tag up your document similar to the way we tagged up the basic relationship to give you an idea of what that looks like. I'm going to download the current document. You can see we simply have the replicate row tag called calls underscore start and then we're bringing in the name, call type, and duration. Now, if we try to run the DDP, because of our filtered relationship, we will only get an output file with sales calls. And because of the way we set up the filtered relationship, if there are no sales calls, then the entire table will be deleted. However, because there are sales calls in this account, we will retrieve those records in the table. And that is how you add a filtered relationship to a DDP. Thank you.